In this video, I will explain the installation and configuration process of BigCommerce Salesforce Connector. So let's proceed with that. On the App Exchange, you need to search for eShop Sync for BigCommerce and uh, you need to scroll down and click on Get It Now in order to install this application. It will ask to install in production in sandbox as per your requirement. So please proceed accordingly. Further, it will provide some information related to package like package name, version, subscription, and all the things. All right. So further, you need to just check mark the terms and condition, confirm and install. On the next page, you need to log in with your Salesforce login credentials. Once you get logged in, it will ask to install for admins or for all users or for a specific profile. So you need to select for all users and click on install. Further, it will ask for this prompt that is for API and big commerce uh, integration in case of the integration and the synchronization process. So you need to just check on this and click on continue. It will further process with the installation. Once it gets installed, it will take you to the setup page inside the Salesforce. And uh, over here, you can see we have installed eShop Sync for Big Commerce. So you can check all the components from here, all the custom fields, FX classes, and all the things will be less down over here. So further, there are a few things that we need to update, we need to configure at the Salesforce end and also at the big commerce end. So first of all, we will update the few uh, required settings at the Salesforce end and then we will proceed at the big commerce end to generate API credentials, which, which will be required in order to establish connection with the big commerce and Salesforce. So at the Salesforce end, we need to update the field accessibility of all the custom fields that has been created with this eShop Sync for big commerce package. So to update the field accessibility, we need to go to customize and uh, go to accounts and click on fields. Over here, you will find all the custom fields created by, if we just scroll down in the, the custom field and relationship, you will find the all the custom fields, see over here. So you need to click on the field name and it will further provide you an option to check the view field accessibility that you need to update. So click on view field accessibility once. Over here you will notice that all these uh, fields like the big commerce e email ID is already hidden over here for all the specific profiles mentioned. So you need to go to system administrator and click on hidden. Over here we need to check mark two options over here for the field for this profile, we need to make it visible and also we need to add it for the page layout visible down here and click on save. So the change will happen that field will be visible and accessible in order to store the information in order to integrate data from big commerce into this specific field. Okay, so you can see the change over here. This is editable now. So in the same way, we need to update all the custom fields in the same way like big commerce user id this is another custom field so in the same way that you need to proceed once you are done with accounts object you need to go to orders in the orders you will be having these two fields so you need to update it same way you need to go to contacts in the contracts you will be having one custom field Further, you need to check in the products. You will be having lots of custom fields over here in the product. So you need to update the accessibility for all of them. Also in the orders, you will be having in under the order products, you will be having some custom fields that you need to update. So these are the custom fields available in the order products. You need to update the field accessibility and uh, also in the price books in the price book entries you need to check for the custom fields over here the mapped id 
So these are the required field that you need to update. Otherwise, you will be experiencing issue while synchronizing data. So now once we are done with the field accessibility, that is the pre-configuration settings that we need to update. Now we need to generate API credentials at the big commerce end. Right, so log into the admin panel of the big commerce and go to advanced settings. Over here, you need to go to API accounts. And you need to create API account details over here. You need to click on create API account. Yes, you need to just mention the a random name. So Salesforce Big Commerce Integration. All right. And this is your this will be your store ID that will be provided in the notes. So further you need to update the accessibility of all these contents like uh, contents customers for to read only the customer login yes you need to update all the accessibility of all these information available at the big commerce ends so that it can get synchronized it would be accessible to the uh, salesforce in order to synchronize the data to the salesforce end so you need to update this access accessibility like we did the same in the salesforce for the custom fields Okay, so once we are done with that, once we are done with that, click on save. Okay, it will prompt for the credentials over here. We need to click on done and uh, it will further just automatically provides and download the a doc file in which all the details will be mentioned. That is required at the Salesforce in, in order to configure the thing. That is access token, client ID, client secret, the in the name that you have mentioned, and the API path in which the after the stores. This is your store ID that you need to mention at the Salesforce end. So you need to just save all these details that is required at the Salesforce end. So this is the uh, settings that we need to update. This is the things that we need to uh, generate at the big commerce in now let's proceed at the salesforce in to establish the connection so we are here in the salesforce now in the drop down you need to select eShop sync for big commerce over here in the click on the big commerce salesforce connector tab here in the configuration options over here you can see that we have all the options to enter the client ID, client secret, access token, store ID, and the price book you need to select. So from the doc, you need to just enter all the details accordingly over here, these options. Further, you need to select the price book in which you want to list all the products which is getting to synchronize from the big commerce to Salesforce, and all the products will be listed in that specific price book, and pricing will be uh, accordingly published for that products once you are done with these configurations click on save and you will get a confirmation for that that settings has been configured configured successfully now we will proceed with the synchronization process so let's click on categories first you need to follow these steps first you need to synchronize categories then products customers then orders okay so we are in categories we are here in the tab of the categories having few options like categories source like all categories big commerce categories salesforce categories also you can extend the records per page we are having options as refresh and import so first we need to click on import and it will start the process over here for the synchronization so you can see that total big commerce categories imported that is 10 all right and uh, further you need to click on refresh okay so now over here all the categories are synchronized in which you can see if it is having product images on uh, the category images then accordingly it will be displayed down here with the category name this is the category id and all the things the parent category is available accordingly it will be provided so once you click on the category name it will take you to the default salesforce page over here so this is something directly linked with the 
cells for default name. So now we will proceed with the product synchronization. These are the existing products in the Salesforce by default. So you want to verify the click on the filter option. Over here, you can select show big commerce products only and it will filter out accordingly. So we have no product synced yet. So click on import ones. It will start the synchronization process. And see all the products from the big commerce, 15 products has been synchronized successfully down here with the product name, image, description, categories, SKU, and the pricing. You can select the price book that you have opted in the settings so that you can verify the number of products. And click on next to check the products in the next tab. Okay, so in the same way, you need to just refresh the page and uh, it will just provide you the total products down here that is 62 further if you want to filter out the things based upon categories and all the things so you can verify you just verify all the things it is not containing any products so select any other one so you can see based upon categories the products are getting filtered if you want to check the product detail, so you need to click on the product name and it will take you to the default page of Salesforce, having all the information. So this is related to product synchronization in which the product ID that is unique, which is responsible for the updates in this specific product. So further, we will proceed with the customer synchronization. It will synchronize all the customers existing at the big commerce. Okay. So let's proceed to these are the existing accounts of the Salesforce. So you can verify by selecting big commerce customers. You're not having any customers yet. So let's click on import to synchronize the customers to Salesforce. So we are having two customers having big commerce user email and the ID, which is unique and responsible for the update in this customers so if you click on that it will take you to the default page having all the details like this so now we are having orders so let's proceed to synchronize orders and let's verify whether it is importing all the information to or not so click on import it will start the process and you can see the orders are getting synchronized with the order number. This is the big commerce order number with the account with which it is linked. But this is the guest user account. This is the guest checkout details which is created as a business account over here. The status of the order with the items purchased and the total amount. Also, we have filter options for big commerce order or the Salesforce orders. And now click on the order number and it will take you to the order detail page over here you will find all the information of the order these are the order items with product code and the quantity price and all the things if you click on the order item it will further let you know that this order item is uh, delivered to the receiver, the receiver name, the shipping address, and all the things will be displayed down here for this specific item if it is a deliver. So in the same way, it will be a store. Okay, so this is all about the synchronization of the uh, categories, products, customers, and orders from big commerce to Salesforce. And now I hope that you are pretty familiar with the installation and the setup of the big commerce Salesforce connector at both the ends. So thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.